Hello, this is Zach with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at an intermediate to advanced modeling technique. Now, in the model that you see here, what we're going to focus on is the set of wires that are being wrapped around this tube. And as simple as it looks, it can be a tricky thing to consider how to even begin modeling such a thing, because not only are the wires spiraling around the length of the tube, but they're also being twisted around themselves at the same time. Now, if you've already been using SOLIDWORKS for a while, you probably already know that we need to use a sweep command for this, which means we need a profile sketch for the wires, which will just be a few circles. And we also need to make a sketch for the sweep path. But how do we make a path that spirals perfectly around a tube that isn't straight? And furthermore, how do we twist the wires together as they are being swept down the path? There's actually a fairly easy way to do this using a tool called intersection curve and an option in the sweep command called specify twist value. So to get started, I'm just going to switch over to another part, which is just the tube. And I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane here. Now, it might not make a whole lot of sense what I'm doing at the beginning, but it will as I make a couple of these features. So I'm just going to make this horizontal line, um, give it a length of about 0.75 because my tube diameter is one inch. And what I'm going to do is sweep this line down this path. And I'm going to use a surface tool to do that called Swept Surface. And I already have my path. This is the one that was used to create the tube, so I'm going to select the path. and. If you expand the options in the surface sweep, you'll see that you have this profile twist. And what we can do here is switch this to specify twist value. And then I'm going to give this, um, actually, I'm going to change this to revolutions. And I'm just going to type in 10 here. And you'll see by the preview, what's happening is this line is being swept around this path 10 times. So it's basically turning 10 times as it's being swept down the path. Let's click OK there. And another thing I'm going to do is create an offset of this surface, the outside of the tube. So I'm going to pre-select the surface and go to offset surface. And I'm going to give this an offset of about 0 0.03. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is create an intersection where these two surfaces meet. To do that, I'm going to go to Tools, Sketch Tools, choose Intersection Curve, and then I'm going to select the two surfaces, the offset surface and that spiral surface. When you click OK, what it does is it puts a 3D sketch in your model everywhere those surfaces intersect. So what we have is a perfect spiral going around this tube. I'm going to close my sketch. At that point, we can hide the surfaces. Now I'm going to create the profile for the wires. And to do that, we need a plane that ends or starts at the beginning of this, this 3D curve here. So I'm going to pre-select the curve and hold Control down and select the endpoint. Then go to Reference Geometry and click Plane. And that's going to put a plane like normal to the curve, the end of the curve there. And this is the plane I'm going to use to start the sketch of the profile. So I'm going to start a new sketch. I'll come in here and put a few circles. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of center lines. And we can use a tool called Dynamic Mirror. And if you draw a circle on one side, it draws it on the other side. 
And I'm going to do the same thing here. Dynamic mirror. And I'm going to select all the circles, give them an equal value, and we'll put a dimension on one of them, let's say 0.04 maybe. Might be a little too much, 0.03. So we have a nice little grouping here. Bring that in just a little bit. And this is going to be the profile of our wires. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now what we're going to do is sweep this profile down this path that we've made. So I'm going to control select my profile and my sweep sketch. Go to features. Click Swept Boss Base. And now what we need to do is make the wires twist as it's being swept down that path. To do that, we're going to go right back to the same setting that we used earlier, which is Specify Twist Value. And I like using revolutions just because it's easy for, for me to figure out. I'm just typing in a number of times it's going to turn and let's just type in let's say 50 to make this obvious zoom in here and you can see it's twisting those wires together so it's twisting them basically 50 times as it's going down the path and click OK now I had to pause the video because it did take a little bit of time for that to generate but basically that's that's all it is. So it's it's not that intimidating once you know how to make a spiraling curve using the intersection curve and using the surface tools. So again, this is Zach with Go Engineer. I hope you appreciated this video and thank you for watching.